boy, you know, getting the neighborhood to buy off on putting a brewery in an elementary school in Colorado Springs could be a challenge. I think that speaks a little bit to our history and what we've done in the community, and people kind of know what they get. I mean, we're going to brew beers that we like, uh, that we want to drink, and fortunately for us, people in Colorado like very similar styles. We don't have to dumb anything down. I wanted to gain efficiency in labor and energy, and I wanted to gain efficiencies with the raw materials. We needed more space, and so we had different options to do that. In our case, we thought we'd rather be a piece of something bigger than just making more beer. And really what's exciting to me is you, you take the same brewer and give him time to now monitor the process better. So it becomes using your brain a little bit more, which I think is key. There's some ownership there as opposed to just... Hey, there's the beer of the week, you know. We're not doing everything we wanted to do, but we're doing a lot. And we view it as a journey. We're never going to be done. We hope to open soon, but we're never going to be done. We get to be part of the renaissance of this area. I mean, I think this area has really got a lot of potential. We get to be a part of that. We're not doing it to, to show off. We're doing it because it's the right thing to do. We think Ivy Wild could be a, a center for locally produced foods, drinks, arts, and community.